Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider to subscribe and help the channel. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. I want to show you what we got here. We got this sandbar. This is Hisense HS 2100 sandbar. This is 2.1 channel sandbar. This sandbar is called the Beast. 240 watts audio power, Dolby Audio, DTS, TV mode. What we want to do is unbox this stuff, check it out, see what is inside. This soundbar got three speakers and six equalizer settings. So let's check this stuff out and see what is inside. It will help to unleash your TV sound. This soundbar can hook it up to your TV via Bluetooth, optical cable, and HDMI. This soundbar is with wireless subwoofer. This is the information pack. There we go. This is very sleek and, and light. It's not heavy. Accessories are in here. This is brilliant stuff, very light. There we go, and see what it looks like. And the power cable goes in here. You have auxi port, USB, HDMI, and optical. This soundbar is very light. The Beast 240 watts audio power, 6 equalizer mode, Bluetooth 5 point tray, super powerful bars, ease play, multi connection, TV mode, ultra slim subwoofer and TV Mate HS series 2.1 channel signed by DTS and Dolby Audio Hisense The Beast This is the subwoofer here very slim Brilliant Look at that So this you got black clothing here. The rest is covered with plastic. And the, at the back here, you switch this off and reset it from here. The power cable goes in here. in here the accessories so you have HDMI cable included in the packaging which is handy this is power cables the two power cables one is for sandbar the other one is for subwoofer and 
battery also the remote control so we we'll start with we put the battery first so you take the negative to the top right so when you are holding the remote control so the negative go to the top right and the positive at the bottom then on the left side the negative be on the bottom the positive be on the top then after that then push this up to close it now this is the power cable So take one of the power cable, go at the back, push it inside it, then plug it onto the socket, then take that this one as well. Go at the back of the subwoofer, push it inside, plug it. Then plug it onto the power socket. So we're going to measure this sandbar from this end to this end is 80 centimeter. Can call it length. This is nine centimeter. So length is 80 centimeter and this is 9 centimeter width. And the subwoofer from the front to the back is 35 centimeter. From front to the back is 35 centimeter. This is 11 centimeter. Then from the top or height is 30 centimeter. This handbag deserves your attention. You can also switch this off and on from this button and this button here is the input plus for you to increase the volume minor is for you to decrease the volume you select the input bluetooth usb usb okay aux. aux if you haven't got the remote control but you can also select this from the remote control okay this soundbar deserves your attention it's beautiful very slick the beast it helped unleash your tv sound this gear deserves your attention so what i want to do is to show you how to connect this soundbar this is hisense hs 2.1 channel soundbar hs 2100 soundbar this soundbar can hook it up to your tv via optical cable hdmi and bluetooth hdmi cable is included in the packaging what i want to do now is to show you how to connect this to your tv using optical cable so switch off the soundbar and unplug it from the power then you take the optical cable go in to optical so go take the cable and push it to the optical and, and this is in And take the, this end of the cable, go to your TV where it's written optical digital audio out. Push the cable inside and it's in. Uh, plug the power cable for the TV, plug the soundbar to the socket and also plug the subwoofer to the power. Now switch the soundbar on. Power on. 
power on then use the use the input to select optical usb aux optical optical now switch the tv on okay the tv is on then the next thing you need to do you need to go to your tv settings this is the tv audio okay this is the tv audio so go to the tv settings scroll down to the sound and it's showing us now tv speaker okay sound out is showing us tv speaker you need to select on the sound out scroll to the side to optical optical out device select on it this sound bar is connected and when it's in the optical then you use the Watch. remote control for the sound bar to increase the volume this is the audio Okay, so when it's in optical, like I said, you use the soundbar remote control to increase the volume. But this is this soundbar is connected, and this is the audio. Take the HDMI cable go to the back where it's written HDMI arc. So push the cable inside it, and it's in. Now take the other other end of the cable. It's written HDMI E arc. Hook the cable and it's in. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to plug the sound bar to the power. Plug the TV and plug the subwoofer to the power. Once sound bar and subwoofer are linked together you will see a steady blue light showing you that the soundbar and subwoofer are linked together now the next thing to do you need to switch this soundbar on power on it will, tell, it will tell you power on so you need Something to prepared. you need to select hdmi hdmi HD, hdmi okay now switch the tv on okay and the tv is this is the TV. This is actually connected, but I want us to do is we need to go to the TV settings, scroll down to the sound, and it's showing us now HDMI ARC device. You need to select on it. If you are doing this for the first time, okay, you need to select, go to the sound, then you need to scroll to the side where it's written HDMI, you can see optical Bluetooth HDMI ARC device. You need to select on it. Okay, and this sound banner is in connected via HDMI arc. You can increase the volume using the TV remote or sound bar remote control. What I want to do now is to show you how to hook this up to your TV via Bluetooth. So what we need to do is first of all, switch off the sound bar and unplug the cables. So this is HDMI cable, I want to remove it, unplug it, and also unplug it from the back of your TV. Now the next thing to do is you need to switch, plug back the sound bar, plug the subwoofer to the power, and also plug the sound bar to the power. Okay, now switch the sound bar on. Power on. It will tell you power on. HDMI. Then you need to select Bluetooth. 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 It will tell you Bluetooth pairing. You can also select this from the top if you haven't got the remote control you can select the function from here from the top as well power on power on usb usb aux aux optical optical hdmi hdmi bluetooth bluetooth so you can select this from the top as well if you haven't got the remote control the remote control is included in the packaging now this soundbar is in bluetooth we need to bluetooth pairing we need to switch the tv on so use the gear button to select the settings now scroll down to the sound and it's the sound out is showing us tv speaker you need to select on the sound out now scroll to the side to bluetooth and you can see bluetooth device 
you need to scroll down to device list and select enter it will start to look for available Bluetooth device here we go I sense HS 2100 is available you need to scroll up to select okay and select enter now it's connecting Bluetooth connected Bluetooth connected and it will show you now they are at can see the difference they certainly are, as is borrowing. So this so is how to hook this up. We can tax and spend our way out of the problems we've got. I don't think it's right. We do need to... Now, when it's in the Bluetooth, you can control the volume using the sandbar and the TV remote control. Well, I don't think we haven't heard the details. So the challenge we've got, and I go back to what I was saying earlier, both are part of the With this remote control, you can select equalizer. If I may, if I really everything I think that Grace was talking about, which is music. It will tell you music. Ordinary this is music movie movie so you can select the equalizer depending on a particular program you are watching you select the equalizer and also select surround 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 then you can also you can also select bars and treble increase the bars by selecting plus this sound bar deserves your attention now i want us to go to youtube so select homes then scroll to the down to the apps go to youtube select enter so i want to go to vinyl tv select enter okay so now select movie movie and back with built-in woofer this is movie one remote control and surround sound expansion movie news via blue this is news and optical cable i must say optical news game this is game and also show you how to hook this up to your tv using optical beautiful cable. This sandbar from this end to this end is 64 centimeter. Game. Sport. Now, this sandbar, you can this also connect, control sports. it. Sports. Night. Night. Select, switch this C off. Can see the night is low. Night. Is for you to night. Music. Music. To alternate from Bluetooth to optical option okay this is the sandbar remote now this sandbar and this is got 40 wires tv tv remote yes. so you can control so, the so volume sandbar. using the two remote control getting more out of your movie thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you